Hi friends, it's Karen Jean. Welcome to the studio. I'm not quite sure you're seeing the complete mess that is in front of me with everything. Um, I've been working on this bit by bit. Uh, I think I mentioned in my last video that it's, uh, it's, I'm having a really rough time with my back lately, so I'm not sitting here for very long. But anyway, um, I hope you're all doing better than I am. I want to show you what I've done. I thought I'd just uh, turn on the camera as we're, as I'm just adding some bits and bobs to this journal. I don't know if, if I showed you this. This is a pocket out of some of the ephemera that came with the paper pack with that journaling card. Here is, um, I just added that tab. That's a journaling card for there. Let's see if I can get it back in there. It's catching on something. I think it's catching on that right there. Hold on. Uh, put a dab of glue. Oh my goodness. So yes, it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous weather here. Um, gorgeous weather. I think it's a high of 74 today. My a brother got hit by a car. A uh, car ran a stop sign. Why is this not going in now? Car ran a stop sign, which is what they do around here. They just are not paying attention. And uh, he gets around on an electric bike. And uh, he's very careful because he's been sideswiped quite quite a number of times in the past here. The, uh, there's a bit of a ridge there. Uh, so he's always very careful. Now, he didn't have a stop sign. Luckily, it wasn't on the... Uh, uh, larger roadway. It was just, you know, on the neighborhood roads here. And uh, he didn't have a stop sign, but he stops anyway because he sees the cars coming and he knows that they just blow through stop signs. They pay no attention. And uh, he, he thought the car was stopping because it slowed down. Uh, and so he, he went through and they ran the stop sign and hit him. And... Um, yeah, his bike is broken. Uh, he was coming back from the grocery store, so his groceries are all over the roadway. And of course, he refused to call the police and file a report. He came home. He's he's physically, he's a mess. I said, you're going to hurt later. You should have called the cops. He's like, no, I'm not vindictive. They said they'd get me new groceries and help with re getting the bike repaired. I'm like, uh-huh, sure. Um, I made this out of, this was just a scrap piece of the... It's not very heavy of, of the paper that I'm using in this journal. And what I did is a couple of the journaling cards from the ephemera pack. I put it on top. I thought it'd be cute, make it look like a little book, but it's not a very large space in here. So I made a tiny little belly band with a little bit of paper there. And this is a little Velcro dot to keep it closed. And then this is just scraps. This is That's what this is made out of. This is all just scraps. Um, paper there. This is a little pocket. And that's just, uh, and it's, this here is the gold. Uh, this is embroidery floss. It's not even really floss. It's just gold thread and it does unravel. I've used it before. I've used it um, in a prayer journal that um, Kathy has. It's the same thread, Kathy. Uh, so there's that. Now, what was I just doing? I think I was just fussing with that. No, back here. Um, this is that journaling card, but we did that together. I'm pretty sure we did that together. Decorated that. This is my favorite die right now, this burlap die. Just, just put some decoration there. What else was I doing? Oh, I just did this. Um, again, this is ephemera pieces from some of this. So I just made another little pocket here and I took some of this thread and looped it around and tied it off in the middle to make it kind of look like a bow or butterfly or whatever. Um, and I, that's really all I've done. I think we did this journaling card together. Uh, this is, oh, I need to put, what I'll put back here is the note from the bookmaker. That's a large deep pocket there. So, so yeah, uh, this journal, this journal has been a lot of fun. I'm, I have been enjoying this journal. We have a couple of tags here, right? Little double tags. And there's this in the back pocket. 
another little journaling card. And I certainly, so I have been having fun. Now, this is part of the Four Seasons line, right? And um, gosh, look at that. We have to figure out a closure on this. I'm thinking maybe um, an elastic band with a couple of, uh, with a button on the front. This is like this right now, I think probably because of this. Let me take that out and see what happens. No, it's still, it's just... I thought I didn't have enough <laughs> pages in it, and, and it's, um, it's, I think, I think it's a little bit too much, a little bit too much, um, but so, yeah, let's just see what else we have here. Oh, this is a journaling card here. I just sewed that piece of fabric on it. Maybe we should round those corners, or instead of rounding corners, let's do this. Let's cut them in. Like so. Now, when I did have to back this, because some of these um, are on the reverse side of the, the packaging, the outside packaging. So I did have to back that. So we have that there. What else? This is from the Tim Holtz wall, uh, worn wallpaper. And it's perfect for this journal. The colors are perfect. Uh, the question is, what am I going to do with it? Do I make it a flip out? I mean, I have a flip out here, which is a pocket. I don't know if I need another flip out. Oh, and here's another double, just another double tag there. Um, I don't know if I need another flip out though. I mean, this flips out as well. I think two flips out might be enough. I could cut it down and make it a journaling card, and maybe we could put this journaling card. Um, maybe I need to do something about keeping that closed. Putting this journaling card back here. I'd have to trim it down. I don't know. It's getting warm in here. I need to turn the fan back on. Um... Yeah, I do not know, my friends. I do not know. I hope uh, I hope you're all doing well, and I hope that you're uh, looking forward to the autumn weather like I am. Oh, my goodness. I certainly am. I certainly am. So, hmm. Okay, we need... I really think this journal is practically done. So, oh, as I was saying, so yes, we do need to do a closure and this is part of the Four Seasons line, but I have, um, I still have a lot of uh, paper and stuff and I'm really enjoying this. So I might just make um, a couple of small one signature autumn journals. I think that'll be fun. I'm on an autumn journal kick right now. So, uh, Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking that I might, I might revisit it later, but I'm really thinking that this journal is done. I mean, what do you think? Of course, we can go on and on and on, and I have all these things here. Um, I figured this, I would just... These things can just be cut. Um, I, I would just cut it in half here. Let's do this. These little bits of ephemera. And then... Uh, just put it in here, right? And whoever gets the journal can use those to cut apart and decorate and do what they will with. There is nothing on this back cover, which is inside back cover, which is something. All right, I am going to see if I have an orange, oh, hair, hair elastic. I mean, I, I do, I knew I did. Um, and... All right, let's, we could use, oh, here we go. We could use this brass one. Oh, all right. I'm gonna hopefully put a hole in this book. Hopefully put a hole in this book. And we're eyeballing, eyeballing, eyeballing. 
eyeballing the center. Let's not eyeball the center. Let's measure it, shall we? <laughs> let's measure the center. This is, well, uh, let's seven. What am I looking at? Seven and a quarter. So that's six and a half, six and uh, five eighths. No, three and five eighths. Honestly, Karen Jean. Uh, three and five eighths. Let me get my other, here it is, ruler. Three and five eighths, right? Let's do it right there. Three and five eighths, and that is a little bit more than a quarter inch in. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, hopefully. Okay, three. Let's get the fat one. Here's the fat one. Uh, oops, what's going on here? There's the, making sure it's fully functional. It's a pretty heavy book. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And it looks like. So now what we do is we stick this through the hole. Ooh. Oof, it's going to be a tight. And then I put the, oh, I don't know. The book might be too thick here. It might not do what it's supposed to do. Let's give it a go and see. Um. Get you in there. Oh, dag nabbit. What happened? Oh, let me get another one out. Like I said, this book might not be might be too thick and not and I don't think is going to cooperate with what I'm trying to do. I could always hammer it down a little bit. Um, flatten that out. Not with this though. I do have a hammer. I would have to go get the hammer. I don't want to damage it though. Oh. Okay. Let's try this again. And like I said, it just might not work. If I can get this in there. Make sure it's pushed. catch it did is it gonna stay I hope um, now I need let me find a button 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 and I'm actually thinking a shank button, a button with a shank, instead of a flat button. Here is a gold button with a, not a Celtic knot on it, but Shank is too small. What's this? Nope. Nobody, nope, nope, nope. So okay. My goodness. Have 
we had enough for today. Um, and I should probably, I'm thinking of, of gluing this down, putting a circle on top of here or something on top of here to cover that up. Um, put a piece of washi tape on top of there. I don't think that's going to do much for us though. That'll break right through the washi tape. Washi tape is too thin. At least it covers it a little bit. Okay. And we still don't know what we're going to do on the back here. bigger. Or, hmm. and turn this into a pocket. Although, considering how okay, I'm um, I'm sure that we will do more with this, um, but for now, I am putting this one aside. To yeah, you know, I put a bookmark in there. It's not laying flat. I'm gonna put this one aside. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna hang any dangles from there. Um. But we're going to put this one aside for now, and we're going to do it with the last one in our series, which is winter, um, probably in a couple months in October. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to set this one aside for now, and then, like I said, we will do a couple of um, one signature, uh, one signature autumn journal. So, uh, this has been uh, fun times in the craft studio today. Let your imagination take flight. Enjoy the fall weather. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.